Sean P. Diddy Combs, a prominent figure in American pop culture, has been accused of sexual abuse, sex trafficking, and physical violence. His rise to fame is a testament to his hustle and ambition, but recent lawsuits and federal charges suggest years of predatory behavior orchestrated and concealed through a mix of influence, wealth, and fear. Combs' influence began with the founding of Bad Boy Records in the early 1990s, which would shape hip-hop and fashion. His business ventures extended to alcohol partnerships with Crook Vodka and Deli and Tequila, helping him amass an estimated net worth of $600 million as of 2024. His legendary white parties, luxurious lifestyle, and high-profile collaborations helped solidify his image as a cultural tastemaker. However, the allegations against him have caused a ripple effect, with more accusers now coming forward to tell their stories. Cassie filed a federal lawsuit accusing Diddy of sexual abuse coercion, and physical violence, alleging that he controlled every aspect of her life, from her career to her medical records. She also accused Diddy of forcing Cassie into participating in freak-offs, unhinged parties where she was allegedly made to have intercourse with male sex workers while he watched and recorded. Federal authorities indicted Diddy on criminal charges in September 2024, including sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation of individuals for prostitution. The indictment suggests that Diddy was running an organized criminal operation, the Combs Enterprise, with his employees playing a significant role in facilitating these alleged crimes. The rise of allegations of sexual abuse, sex trafficking, and physical violence threatens to dismantle Combs' empire and raise questions about the true cost of his rise to fame. Since Cass's lawsuit and Diddy's indictment, numerous lawsuits have been filed against Sean Combs, alleging sexual harassment, non-consensual pornography, sexual assault, and physical violence. These lawsuits cover incidents dating back to the 1990s, with both men and women alleging that Diddy has grossly abused his power and influence. The consistent thread in many of these cases is the claim that Diddy used his power and connections to intimidate, silence, and manipulate those around him. A significant part of the allegations revolves around the use of drugs to control and manipulate victims. According to both civil lawsuits and criminal charges, Diddy provided drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, and oxycodone during his notorious freak-offs to ensure compliance. The drugs impaired the victim's ability to resist or refuse participation, making them more vulnerable to Diddy's demands. Physical abuse and bribery allegations also play a significant role in the allegations. Prosecutors have pointed to incidents of violence going back as far as 2009, with security footage from a Los Angeles hotel allegedly showing Diddy dragging Cassie through the hallways and throwing a vase at her. Diddy's lawyers have denied these claims, calling them exaggerated or fabricated. The allegations against Diddy have sparked a wider conversation about the entertainment industry's complicity in enabling powerful figures to engage in abusive behavior. As more accusers come forward, Diddy's legal battles continue to grow in scope, adding complexity to the ongoing investigation. While awaiting trial, Combs is being held at the notorious Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, a facility known for its grim conditions. His legal team has expressed concerns about the unsanitary and violent environment within the facility, referencing frequent stabbings and poor conditions. The stakes cannot be higher as Diddy prepares to face his legal battles with federal charges carrying the potential for life imprisonment if convicted. The allegations against Sean P. Diddy Combs are not just a legal battle but a cultural reckoning, affecting his legacy and determining his fate. The case is still unfolding in court, and Diddy has denied wrongdoing. The world will watch as the case evolves and justice is served for those who come forward. The accusations and lawsuits leave his legacy and future uncertain. And f